Hey everybody, it's Joanne from Artsy Light Tarot. Thanks for checking out this message. I'm gonna be doing a general reading for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus signs. I'm gonna tap into the energies that are surrounding you at this time. See what message your angels and guides have for you. If you're a cross watcher, please flip switch the energies rolls. Don't force messages. Only take that which resonates as this is collective. If you're interested, I have personals. You can connect with me through the email provided in the description box below. So I'm going to start with Oracle and then I will clarify with Tarot. So in regards to the energy that surrounds you now, old school that came out for another reading that I did, but in the reverse for Leo, I believe there may be messages for you there. I just uploaded. Um, there's an outdated thinking. There's a blockage in regards to seeing something authentically. There's, this, there's someone that's avoiding growth. There's someone that's avoiding accountability while someone else is moving towards clarity, clarity of mind, feeling confident in the decisions moving forward. Someone is open to communicating authentically. But so, so there's two energies here showing up, right? There could be past energy with old school, sword in the rose, clarity, truth, revelations, honor, protection, determination and then the dragonfly lighthearted and adapt finding out and change things coming to light and healing but in the reverse so someone's avoiding accountability is what i'm feeling while someone else is waking up to the reality of the situation so i am going to go with the vice versa tarot at this time so we have a lar uh, light and a dark um, energy on each side of the deck for those of you that are interested so i call upon sagittarius team Spirit guides and angels to protect the collective. Please clarify the energies that are surrounding Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. One more shuffle. What is the energy surrounding coming towards Sag? So please check out all of your signs. I do have personals. You can connect through the email below if I have not said that. So the anchor for the reading, we have the Six of Cups. And that is on the dark side. So somebody, it's almost like there's an energy of somebody waiting. Six of Cups is soulmate energy. But on the shadow side, so somebody's admiring you or somebody's longing for you could be someone that's lower vibration with the dragonfly bottom of the deck energy we do have ten of wands in the reverse on the light side so i do feel that there is movement away from a difficult cycle ten of wands that is sagittarius energy so i feel that's your energy i just want to make sure i'm in the in the shot here um right i feel that you have turned your back on a very difficult cycle. You're not carrying the weight of it any longer. Bottom of the deck energy, but there's somebody that misses you, someone that is viewing you as a soulmate. Could be Scorpio, could be dealing with a Scorpio, Six of Cups on the shadow though. So there's, there's some type of an illusion in regards to this situation. Someone's watching you from a distance is what I'm getting. Okay, very head over heart energy i'm picking up with that sword in the rose as well show me the challenge sagittarius is facing at this time what challenge does sagittarius have in regards to this energy so nine of swords in the reverse the challenge is getting out of your head is what i'm getting nine of swords that gemini energy you could be moving away from an air sign Definitely needing to look at something from a different perspective. You may need space. So again, there's an energy of admiration, clarity of mind. Someone is showing up as clear in regards to intentions or feelings. And then someone else is showing up kind of detached. You know what I mean? So I do feel that there's uh, a different vibration here. Now, bottom of the deck, we have 10 of pentacles in the light. Or is that on the shadow? Yeah, that's on the shadow. So someone didn't realize how good they had it until they lost it. Ten of Pentacles on the shadow. That's Virgo energy. So the challenge is getting out of your head. I feel that you may be playing back conversations in your mind. So the challenge is silencing that voice in your mind that's just trying to make sense of a situation where there was a lack of closure could be, right? 
like I said, the Nine of Swords. That is Gemini energy. What is the energy of the recent past for Sagittarius? What's the energy of the recent past? We've got the Nine of Cups, on the, uh, but in the reverse. So you could have walked away from someone that was codependent. Could be a water sign, Nine of Cups energy, that's Pisces specifically, right? You could have walked away from someone that has addiction. Star at the bottom of the deck in the reverse in regards to the recent past. So there was something that you thought was your wish fulfillment. You could be dealing with an Aquarius with the star energy, again, doesn't have to be, but there was something that you thought was going to be your forever after, it's something that you were pouring into. You thought that you had found your path, your your destiny, so to speak, in regards to a person, but it's in the reverse. So I do feel that there is movement towards something new or feeling you need to move towards something new, right? You may have been releasing someone that had addictions, nine of cups in the reverse, someone that isn't healthy alone like again codependent energy someone is feeling very insecure could be a water sign that's in the recent past there is an energy of clarity truth honor protection determination someone is determined to shift perspective or let go of something that isn't serving them anymore someone is letting go of fear of being alone could be with the nine of cups in the reverse because the nine of cups is about personal wish fulfillment fulfilling, you know, filling one's cup, one's own cup. So take that how it resonates to your situation, Sagittarius. Show me the um, energy that surrounds Sag that they are not aware of. What's surrounding Sagittarius that they are not aware of at this time? Four of Wands, and that's on the shadow. Facing the light. So there's new, there's a new connection or you're moving towards a new union star in the reverse again, could be towards an Aquarius. Again, there was a disconnect from a previous cycle of love, moving towards something new, moving towards the sun, could be towards a Leo. Four of Wands is Aries energy, could be moving towards an Aries. But I do feel that you've moved, that you're moving in a different direction towards some type of a collaboration that's going to be very successful, very harmonious. Four of Wands, like I said, you could be connecting to an Aries, an Aquarius. It's validating that you are moving in a new way. Um, there's healing energy with the Five of Cups on the shadow and the reverse. This new connection coming in is going to heal you is what I'm getting. Sagittarius, it's going to be a part of healing energy for both of you moving towards the light, towards expansion is what I'm getting there. Now, what was out that I let go of? I kept dealing. So Queen of Wands in the reverse. You may have been involved in the past in third party energy with the Queen of Wands in the reverse. Could be a Leo. We have Three of Cups. Three. So we've got Queen of Wands with the Three of Cups. So someone was offering to more than one person in the past that could have put you in an independent energy. You could have been dealing with someone codependent, someone that couldn't um, couldn't let go of you until they were attached to somebody else. Three of Cups, Cancer energy, with death in the reverse. Yeah, someone's afraid. There's fear attached to being alone. You could be dealing with a codependent person that puts you in third party energy. Take that as it resonates. You could have been the queen of wands in the reverse or you could have been affected by a wanton feminine energy but someone that was you know breaking a home or being very selfish in the way that they were interacting within a relationship could have impacted somebody show me who's connecting sagittarius and what does sagittarius need to know who's connecting to them so we got seven of wands in the shadow that's Leo energy and then page of cups in the reverse. So there's someone that is moving towards you. Could be someone that's younger than you that you don't know yet. And I feel that you're open to them with this energy. Page of cups is Pisces. Page energy could be a message, a message coming through because the seven of wands is shadow. You're going to get a message when you're not expecting it from someone could be from a child, could be from someone younger. It doesn't have to be a child. Could be impacting a family that, um, where there was third party interference. So take it as it resonates, Sagittarius. What is the outcome of this message for Sagittarius? It's 
So thank you for watching. If you got this far, let me know if it resonates. Please like, comment, share, subscribe if you have not done so. What is the outcome for Sagittarius? So we do have five of wands in the shadow. So you're turning your back on conflict and deception. So like, I feel this is validation for some of you that you're not fighting for anything that's low vibration anymore. Seven of swords in the reverse that is on the light side. So you're letting go of manipulation. You're not fighting for anything that isn't serving you. You're, you're, you're changing perspective. You're letting go of outdated thinking. You're seeing things, you're seeing things from a clear vantage in regards to someone that was possibly manipulating the situation. There again, competition all over this. This is a very insecure individual. I feel that you were um, connecting to seven of swords, Aquarius energy. Like I said, that showed up a couple of times. Five of wands, that's Leo energy. But I do feel you're moving towards higher vibration, towards something that is less strategic, right? So there may be a message from someone that's a water sign, could be someone, again, younger than you reaching out, is what I'm getting here for you guys. Thanks, Sagittarius. Take care. Bye.